Better sheath. Genesis 8. And Elohim remembered Noah and all the beasts and all the cattle that were with him in the ark. And Elohim made a wind to pass over the earth, and the water subsided. And the fountains of the deep and the windows of the heavens were stopped, and the rain from the heavens was withheld. And the waters receded steadily from the earth, and at the end of the hundred and fifty days the water diminished. And in the seventh new moon, the seventeenth day of the new moon, the ark rested on the mountains of Ararat. Ararat. And the waters decreased steadily until the tenth new moon. And the tenth new moon, on the first day of the new moon, the tops of the mountains became visible. And it came to be at the end of forty days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made. And he sent out a raven, which kept going out and turning back until the waters had dried up from the earth. And then he sent out a dove from him to see if the waters had receded from the face of the ground. But the dove found no resting place for its feet and returned into the ark to him. For the waters were on the face of all the earth. So he put out his hand and took it, and pulled it into the ark to himself. And he waited yet another seven days, and again he sent the dove out from the ark. And the dove came to him in the evening, and see, a freshly plucked olive leaf was in its mouth. And Noah knew that the waters had receded from the earth. And he waited yet another seven days and sent out the dove, which did not return to him again. And it came to be in the six hundred and first year, in the first month, the first day of the new moon, that the waters were dried up from the earth. And Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked and saw the surface of the ground was dry. And in the second new moon, on the twenty-seventh day of the new moon, the earth was dry. And Elohim spoke to Noah, saying, Go out of the ark, you and your wife, and your sons and your sons' wives with you. Bring out with you every life form of all flesh that is with you, of birds, of cattle, and all creeping creatures, the creeping creatures on the earth, and let them teem on the earth, and bear an increase on the earth. So Noah went out, and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him. Every beast, every creeping creature, and every bird, whatever creeps on the earth according to their kinds, went out of the ark. And Noah built a slaughter place to Yahuwah and took of every clean beast and every clean bird and offered ascending offerings on the slaughter place. And Yahuwah smelled a soothing fragrance, and Yahuwah said in his heart, Never again shall I curse the ground because of man, although the inclination of man's heart is evil from his youth, and never again strike all living creatures as I have done. As long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. That would be the end of Genesis 8. Thank you.